wheels to the engine and pretty much this side is nice and prepped. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to leave all of this kind of good. Not perfect, but you know, somewhat decent using nothing but blades. And then towards the end, just to give it that little touch. You're not supposed to use any type of sandpaper right here. So the best thing to use is this right here. All right guys, so what you guys are gonna do next is just get yourself some towels, some shirts, whatever you guys have. This isn't gonna stop a lot of mess going in your pistons. This is just gonna help you reduce it. It was pretty much, once you do that, pop yourself out a blade. And you're gonna work your way from like right here to this side or from top to bottom, whatever. Just keep it nice and organized. You're pretty much gonna go after all of this right here. Let the blade do the work. Don't apply any type of pressure. Don't scratch it. And then towards the end, once you feel satisfied with whatever you removed, pop one of these out, get some gasoline. That's optional. Y pues dale una pasadita, clean it up, then go over it again, pero this time with no gasoline. And it's gonna kind of give it this like metal look to it. But yeah, guys, enough talking more action. Um, I'm gonna get my brother out here so you can actually record as I demonstrate how to pretty much prep up this area. All right, guys, so you guys are gonna pop out a brand new blade. You guys are gonna pretty much go over it nice and smooth and let the blade do the work. Pues just take your time. There's no rush. Aquí donde está the old gasket. And pretty much you're just gonna be doing this repetitively hasta que terminas the whole surface. All right, guys, and I did forget to mention, there's some spots where it doesn't matter if it's pretty or not. It's because it's not a ceiling point. That's what I heard on YouTube. All of this, you're going to see the ring. This is a ceiling point, so that has to be good. Right here, as you guys can see, that's gasket, old gasket. It comes off. You got to know the difference between just normal metal and the actual gasket itself. If it goes in there, don't worry. Right now we're gonna get the vacuum and kind of clean it up. But pretty much, go like add more time around these areas. Esto no importa. It has rust because that's where the water goes. That's what I heard. Like pretty much cools the engine off and it's gonna have rust regardless. Unless you take it to a CNC machine and like they work on your block, they dip it in acid, you're not gonna get rid of this. I don't think I'm gonna do that. So I'm not really worried about this. But overall, right here, that's old gasket. Just go over it, curls up. It doesn't matter if it falls in here, same thing. That's how you put the towels and that's how we're gonna get the vacuum towards the end, clean it up, use this. He puts, kind of leave it nice and good. I'll get back to you guys once I have a decent amount of progress. I'll show you how these look right now once I finish these uh, two pistons. Now, the reason I taped this off is because there's a lot of trash, especially from this right here. When you start like giving it that final touch, like an example like that, this has a, a tendency to throw a lot of uh, polvito. And just to prevent it going in there, I just taped it off. Once I finish this, I'll take it all off, show you guys how it is, and then tape it off to make it look like that. All right, guys, so we are pretty much done. Otra pasadita. Twist it. And go in. Go around the piston. Mostly down here. Right here, keep closer. You see that? That's why we use the vacuum. And it's like an attachment. I don't know. I didn't know I had it, but... It works. All right, guys, so this is, it's kind of shitty. This is not coming all in one piece. 
that's the reveal guys that's how you can pretty much clean up your guys's i don't know what it's called where your heads go to leave it looking nice and smooth pues, that's the finished product i know you can go over it with some other type of chemicals i don't know what specific chemicals i know you can clean the piston heads with acetone i don't know if you can use that for right here though but overall así quedo algo leve <laughs> Y pues, as always, guys, just give it one more pasadita. Clean it up. Doesn't hurt you. Dale otra pasadita. Y luego, like you get yourself the vacuum. You can see there's a little bit of trash in there. All you gotta do is just twist it. Twist it the other way. Get it all out. Same thing right here. Go over it. And here too. Get on it. There we go. Right here. Yeah, we're going to look up a carita. And then you get your tape again. And then you leave it looking like that side. Pues ahí quedó, guys. Nice and sealed. And this is all something you guys can do at home. If you guys ever want to put your part in rebuilding an engine, all you need is some scotch bright pads, some blades, and some scotch tape. Y todo esto me salió en 16 bucks at Walmart. So under 20 bucks, you can do what I did. I do recommend getting some heavy duty scotch tape because when you use cheap tape, like when I was painting the truck, it's kind of a pain in the ass to remove. So just invest in this right here. Makes it a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. In the next video, we're pretty much just gonna clean up the engine block, prep it up, possibly my paint it. I'm still not sure, but overall, guys, that is it for this video. Hello, chamos, and stay tuned.